Good morning to all my friends and family and welcome, welcome to Gems 5am Club and Happy New Year, Happy 2021 to everybody and wishing you every success, prosperity and health for the coming year. I'm up here at Nelson Bay and I'm up here on Mount Tomaree and as you can see it's the first sunrise that we've uh, been able to see up here because it's been wet, it's been cloudy and it's been fairly miserable. So I'm really, really happy and relieved to have been able to make it up here because I'm, I'm just up here for the day. Just drove up last night with Paula, found accommodation and we're up here for the day. So I thought I'd make the most of it by coming up here to my favourite bolt hole. Uh, Mount Tomaree. I'll give you a 360 view in terms of where I'm standing and it's absolutely magical. Just before there was a uh, sea fog that rolled in and you couldn't see in front of your nose but now the sea fog has uh, just blown away. There's a gentle gentle breeze um, happening and that, uh, that breeze has blown away the sea fog and uh, it's absolutely glorious. So what I want to do today is uh, not waste this opportunity, but use this opportunity to uh, go through another topic on Jim's 5am club. It just amazes me how uh, every day I can uh, talk about four or five unrelated things, talk for about 20 minutes, which is the equivalent of about 2,000 words. So I, uh, I'm able to dictate a university, <laughs> a university essay four or five times a day. Never thought I'd be able to do it, but for some reason I've just got this unbelievable energy. It's uh, obviously one of my callings and it's something that I'm just trying to uh, continue to uh, press away at so that I can achieve my goal of a thousand vlogs by my 61st birthday. Because I guess deep down we all have this uh, concern that there may come a day where we, uh, we're inca incapacitated and uh, in this decade, the 60s decade, is one which incapacitates quite a few people. So uh, I don't take it lightly. I don't take li life lightly. My mother, my dear mother, who was healthy all her life, passed away at the age of 63. So that's only a couple of years off from where I am. So I want to try and make every post a winner. So today I want to have a talk to you about a, a beautiful topic. When I was young, I used to watch uh, Walt Disney, Disneyland, the Disneyland uh, TV show, which would be on a Sunday night. And uh, I'd love the cartoons, I'd love the documentaries, I'd love everything about Disney. And uh, Disney said, and he was a man of, uh, of great, great wisdom, and he's, he inspired the world. He inspired all children throughout the world, regardless of culture, creed, where you were born, how you were born, uh, able, disabled, you name it. Uh, Walt Disney was able to stimulate and, uh, and, um, and magnify our ability to dream, our ability to live in hope, and our ability to look forward to our futures. But one of the, th one of the wonderful things that Walt, Walt Disney said was that um, it's easy it's really, really easy to decide once you know what you want to do. So how powerful is that as an affirmation? How powerful is that as a message to all people of all ages? Because a lot of people are procrastinators. And the reason why they procrastinate is because they haven't got it clear in their mind what they want to do. They haven't sat down to create a dreams list to work out what they really want and to prioritize things because as Walt Disney uh, alluded to is that you need to live your future before you actually get there you need to see your future before it actually materializes in fact what you need to do is to manifest your future by dreaming boldly by taking action, by understanding your values, understanding 
um, your um, um, your priorities, knowing clearly your dreams, having a clear self-image, a positive self-image, living with positive expectancy, and talking about all of this, the, the sea fog <laughs> has come in again. And as you can see, I'm surrounded, surrounded by fog everywhere. But we'll continue because it's beautiful. It's eerie, it's beautiful. And what a magnificent location to do today's 5am club. So it's all about deciding in advance or creating in advance your future and knowing, knowing very, very clearly, being able to clearly, clearly articulate uh, what you want, how you want it. And it happens with relationships as well. You know, you need to be able to see in your mind's eye who your future partner is going to be. You know, you just can't wait your whole life looking for them when you don't know what they are, what, what they look like. You know, what are their values? Um, what are the things about them that, uh, that, that attract you? You need to be able to sit down, jot down, and clearly articulate in your own mind what your partner, what the partner of your dreams looks like. And not to uh, just drift hoping that one day you're going to bump into them, because chances are that you won't. So I remember going to a seminar years ago and Anthony Robbins said that you, you need to do that pre-work. You need to know clearly yourself, who you are and also who you're looking for, because there needs to be a values. You need to meet people with similar values. You know, it's not all about going out and having the trophy wife the sexy, beautiful, uh, glamorous trophy wife. Because unless your values are aligned, unless your futures are aligned, unless your action and your road is winding and going in a similar direction. And as my spiritual father said, at the end of the day, marriage, partnering with somebody is salvific. It's your road to heaven. So uh, it's important to understand that we don't just go after the sexiest, most beautiful, most attractive, wealthiest, most educated woman that a person can, but you go after somebody or you, you, uh, you go after somebody who you've clearly articulated in your mind's eye and somebody who suits you, you know, somebody who looks in the same direction as you, somebody who's going to support you as opposed to somebody who's going to cause you grief, pain and suffering your whole life. So uh, be, be careful, be mindful that you don't uh, just jump at, uh, at uh, things which are, uh, are lustful and to uh, be with people who, uh, who uh, are congruent with your values. Values, but most people don't even know what their values are. So you need to start from somewhere. So as uh, Walt Disney said, you, you can only decide once you clearly know what you want and where you're going. So there's good time now, it's the beginning of 2021, to sit down, to articulate um, what your goals are, what your dreams are for 2021, and to map it out, to get it clearly in your head, to prioritize what your key things, are, key goals are, what your, what your big dreams are. And to, and to go after it, single-mindedly. And as, as we said yesterday, we've got 168 hours a week to get things done. After you sleep, after you work, you've still got 100 hours left to, uh, to do all the things that you need to do. Um, or less than 100 hours, but I think it's about 70 hours, but still there's a lot, a lot of time. There's 10 hours a day to be able to get the things done that you need to do. And it's more than enough time that you need to get things done. There are people who work on less hours and achieve a lot more than what we achieve. Anyway, I'll finish off with a positive affirmation. I'm alive, I am well, and I feel absolutely great. To my friends and family, stay connected, stay relevant, and most importantly, stay reasonable and make the most of this beautiful day. Um, um, and to, uh, to think about what Walt Disney said, 
you know, you can't stop a person who knows where they're going and it's easy, really, really easy to decide once you know what you want. And to pre-commit, because once you know what you want, then when the opportunity arises, bang, you grab it. 10 fingers, two hands, two arms, and you squeeze it close to your body. But if you're not sure about what you want, if you're uncertain, you hesitate, and guess what? It's gone. Just like today will be gone for the people who don't make the most of today. Because today <laughs> is only here for today. And tomorrow, it'll be a memory. It'll be back in the past. So make the most of this sunrise. Make the most of this foggy day. But even through the fog, you can still see the sun. So if you know what you want, you'll always know the, the direction that you need to go in order to find it. So make sure that you're clear and you uh, know where the sun is, where the goals are and the dreams in your life. Yasas, be like ya, take care. And I look forward to catching up with you tomorrow, 5 a.m. from another location with another message. Jim from Jim's 5 a.m. Club. Bye.